Are you having troubles with your file explorer? Or has explorer.exe even crashed for you? Right now, Explorer XD crashed for me. What I do to start it again is I hold Control Shift Escape and then we click on File and Run New Task. Then you write in Explorer or Explorer.exe on some older systems. Then you check the box here, create a task with administrative privileges and click OK. And now we have our Explorer running again. OK, so if your Explorer isn't responding or if it crashes from time to time and you have other issues, well, we're going to fix this. If it simply hung itself, you go to details, you mark something here, you click E and you'll see explorer.exe. Then you click delete. This will uh, end this process and then we get back to this state. So what you do here again is a run new task, administrative privileges and click OK. And now it starts again. If you have no further issues, that's fine. But if the Explorer hangs itself again, freezes or you have any issues, you need to do some further things. The very common thing you usually need to do is uh, we need to change some options in File Explorer. So uh, click your Windows key and write File Explorer. Then we have something called File Explorer Options. Click on File Explorer Options. On Open File Explorer 2, select Quick Access and instead change it to this PC. Look down here on Privacy. These two should be checked. You can click Clear the History here just to make sure and click Apply. Then OK. Hopefully your issues are now solved, but if you have some further issues, there might be one thing more. Now we are in a random little folder here of tutorials I will make and um, here you can see we have navigation pane. So if you're on home here, you need to go to view and on view you can see the navigation pane. Here on preview pane and details pane. These two panes um, are causing sometimes the uh, Explorer to crash when you're working in big folders, especially network folders with many big files. Uh, it might cause Explorer to crash. So you'll need to make sure both of these are unchecked. It is handy, but it's a Windows 10 issue. And if you disable it, um, you won't have any further issues um, or it should at least solve the problem. Um, I do hope that uh, some of these um, tips did solve your problem and uh, well, if it did, please leave a like and I'll see you in future videos too. So you should subscribe. Indeed, you can get weekly tech tutorial tips. Anyways, if it really helped you, you can always donate to the channel. Much appreciated. In any case, thanks a lot for watching. This is Jimodism Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.